Hello. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> This is Paul from the Outdoor Adventure. I'm taking a look today at the Spot's global satellite phone. I was sent it to borrow and, and test out by Spot, and I'm glad they did. So the price point on this phone, I'm going to start up front, is typical for a any um, new smartphone that you're going to look without a plan. It's a 7.1 ounce phone, which comes out with a proprietary 2600 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery. And as you can tell, it's, it's small. That's a tiny little phone. And half of that, as you can see, is the antenna. Now this, of course, satellite technology has come a long way. It's on the Global Star Network, which Spot is a, a part of. The Global Star Network has just rolled out in the last couple of years 24 new uh, second generation satellites to um, beef up their network and make it strong and, and give you great coverage. Now the result of this technology is really, really clear. I was able to hear incredibly clearly and when I spoke to my dad on the John Muir Trail, he said it's crystal clear and he was surprised and wondered how I was able to talk to him so clearly. So the quality is here and the in this phone and and in the signal. So if you're out there in the in the back country and you're looking for something to give you a good, clear connection to keep you in touch with emergency uh, services or with family and friends this is a great two-way option for that now a lot of people are working and venturing out into areas where there's no cell phone signal and this helps you with that I've got a spot messenger which I use to check in but it doesn't allow my family to contact me like the spot global phone does now as far as the rates go rates can be as low as 25 cents a minute for North American calls. It gives you a 10 digit uh, phone number so people can call you and it allows you to receive 35 character text messages. Um, it's a fairly simple phone but it does come with a color display and, uh, and it's, it's overall it's a solid piece of gear. If I was to look at improvements I would say it would be good to have a USB charging option. It's, it's a 3.7 volt battery and a lot pretty much every device I carry on the trail is USB chargeable and I can see them rolling out for the next model something just like that. You can connect this to, the, to a data port on your laptop and use it for, for 38 kbps uh, data, two-way data so there's options there if you want to buy that separately. You can also buy a hands-free setup for your car and you can also pick up a, a case for it. The, the rates of, of this phone, the 25 cents per minute, is pretty much exactly the same as what I paid 10 years ago for international uh, calling for, you, for North America on my cell phone. So I'm really impressed with this. The battery life is still short on this, which makes sense. You're trying to contact satellites. It's four hours of talk time. Um, and standby obviously is going to be a lot longer. For, I managed to take this for two weeks on the John Muir Trail um, and I did so with, by carrying the, the charger, charging cable with me and charging up halfway through the trail at a refill point. It definitely works well and if in the future if I was to use this I would to carry an extra battery or two so I didn't need to bring the charging cable and I'd be fine. There were one or two points on the trail where there was a, when I was in a valley and the satellite went out of range and I was lost without a signal for a little while and then it picked up again when the new satellite came came into sight. Despite that I was able to keep regular communication up on the trail with with my family and I was even able to lend it to other people who didn't have access because their cell phone was out of range. Overall I was really happy with this phone. I'm really excited to see where technology is going and increasing the battery life in satellite phones, especially as they give you a signal when you need to keep in touch with people and you're outside of cell range. So check out the Spot Global Phone, uh, check out their, what their options and their plans are and if you're one of those people that needs more than just a GPS signal like the, the Spot Messenger offers but wants two-way communication, this is a really good option. Alright, thank you very much. 
Do you use any spot products? Do you use any satellite products? I'd love to hear your feedback down below and what you think of them. Leave a comment down below.